changes no plans Welcome to Leaders Forecast. My name's Kirsty, and today I'm here with Benji and Phil from Osprey Games. Hi guys. Hi. Thank yeah. you for having us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for joining us here at Osprey Games. How's it all going for the expo? Uh, it's amazing. It's been a very, very busy weekend already. Uh, we've just launched Present Noon last week, and our demo tables have been full, which is what we want. That's really it's, good. It's nice That's to get really back good. out in person to see everybody. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm just going to slightly move out of the way. So you can do a little zoom in. I'll let Philip take over for Stalingrad yes. excitement parts. Uh, so we've got some upcoming stuff. We've kept in a lock cabinet because it's very, very important to us. Uh, our big flagship game, Undaunted. Um, Philip, I'll let you walk through the big Stalingrad prototype that we have here. Yeah. All right, so we have a little sneak peek of Undaunted Stalingrad, which is coming out October this year. And this takes uh, Undaunted to the next level, where in the previous games we've had separate scenarios played to play, but that were historically linked, but mechanically separate. A non stalling run is an integrated campaign. The same two players, you'll play 12 to 15 scenarios to determine the fate of the city. And the first game you play will feel very much on Daunted Normandy. You'll recognize your riflemen, your scouts, your machine gunners. But as soon as that game ends, you'll start to see the changes. Your deck will permanently change as you get uh, upgraded soldiers that might have new equipment or new leadership skills. As you take casualties, you'll permanently remove cards and have to replace them with reinforcements. Wow. Uh, the city will warp around you. And, and this is one of my favorite touches, is that each player has their own scenario book. Uh, and for each, um, every time you play a game, you'll get a little bit of vignette of the ground level view of what's happening from your side's point of view. So you get, wow. it's really trying to bring you in close and near to this platoon that you're going to follow through yeah. such a long period of time. And all of that is in the spirit of a legacy game that you can completely reset of game yeah. at the end and replay and follow. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So, we're very, very excited about this. So when, when are we talking about for um, release after this game. So this is October. Oh, this, this is the point where I cut you out and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we're, we're currently saying winter. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just calling it that. Winter. Winter, winter. winter. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we're hoping that uh, people will be able to get their hands uh, on playable copies later yeah. in the year for other shows that will be up. So we'll be actually on the next Yes, well, we'll definitely see you there because we're going to be there. Yes. We're going to be there. Yes. So, um, obviously, uh, there's another little one in the cabinet here. Would you like to discuss oh, this yeah, one? Oh, yeah, I'll do this. So, uh, <laughs> so well, how do I even lead into this? This is a really yeah. big deal for us. So I feel a little bit nervous talking about it. Um, so, Cryptid is uh, our deduction game that came out in 2018. Um, from Hal Duncan, Ruth Beavers. Um, it is one of our big sexy important games um, yeah. it's something for us it's really important because it sort of branches out away from historical wargaming it is something yeah. a bit different so much more accessible a lot brighter yeah. um, it's a genre that we're sort of playing around in um, it's a really big game for us uh, we have various translation partners to uh, make versions of the game so Skellig Games uh, did a trans German translation in the last year which meant that it was eligible for the big Spiele Jahres Awards uh, so in the last couple of weeks we just heard that we've been shortlisted for the Kenish wow. Spiele Jahres which is their, their expert game of the year um, so our fingers are crossed yeah. for uh, yeah. the ceremony in July. It's a really big wow. deal for us, particularly because uh, we have Crypto Urban Legends that's just come out. So wow. Crypto Urban Legends was out um, about a month ago. Um, so this is the spiritual successor, the sort of standalone um, title in the Cryptid series. Yeah. Uh, same designers, same artist, but uh, a slightly different twist on the same game. Um, we heard that people wanted to play more two-player Cryptid. Yeah. Um, and if people are missing out on two-player classic Cryptid, we have a version online that you can play. Excellent. Um, but this is our new uh, small box version of that. So if anybody's at the show, then come play that here. We've yeah. got that available. Um, but our fingers are crossed for big Cryptid. Brilliant. Hopefully. Brilliant. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed for you. Thank you very much. So, we really appreciate you spending the time talking yeah, to great. us today. And we wish you all the very best. Yeah, it's great. It's great to meet yes. you guys. Yeah, thank you. Hey, we can't finish now. We've not talked about this one. Uh, this yeah, oh, okay, yeah, we probably okay, should. Okay, okay fine. Yeah, I'll okay. let you talk about Crescent Moon. Sure.
All right, so Crescent Moon is our Yuka Games Expo release, and this Ooh. is a four to five player uh, asymmetric area control game uh, set in sort of a, um, it's very much inspired by 10th century Middle East and the power struggles there. Basically, each player takes the role of an asymmetric character uh, where you have everyone from the warlord, who's the invader and the ravager, they've come to burn everything down. Uh, their counterpoint is the caliph, yeah. who's law and order, trying to uh, basically build up what the warlord's tearing down. Uh, you have the sultan, they're the economic powerhouse of the setting. They don't really have their own military, but instead they make the money flow and everyone gets richer by working with the sultan, but especially the sultan. Uh, you have the Murshid, who's sort of like the politics are. They're the spy master and the one pulling the strings. They're, they're meddling in everyone's business, causing chaos and trouble. And finally, you have the mysterious nomad, who's on the outside. They sort of hang around the outskirts and they're absolutely mercenary. They're just trying to make money selling their forces to whoever's the highest bidder. And if there isn't a lot of fighting going on, they're going to try and stir that up so they make healthy problems. Wow. Um, yeah, so that's the present moon. It's, a, it's really a game of of a mosaic of uh, power play between the different factions where two players might very naturally symbiotically work together and then one of them has to betray the other because one is getting too strong off the deal. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a really interesting game. Every time we've been demoing at the show, different dynamics have been emerging. It's been really nice to see. That's good, that's exciting. It looks really colourful as well, which is nice, and the nice artwork yeah. as well. Yeah, we have, a, we have foiling on the cover. It's been really yeah. great. Really so if people can't get to the expo, because unfortunately not everyone can make it, where can they pick up copies of your game? So we work with a range of retailers, yeah. so it should be available from all the major retailers, certainly around yeah. the UK and around okay. Europe. Um, we also have them available on our website, so ospregames.co.uk. Perfect. Perfect, that's brilliant. Well, thank you so much again, and uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll see you soon. Great. Bye. <laughs>